Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the error 0x800701E3 in Windows 10. This type of error usually occurs during file transfers and it can easily interrupt the process, which can lead to file damage, file loss or corruption. The causes can vary from problematic external drives to issues with the operating system. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is running a check disk scan. To do this, just select your PC in File Explorer and then right-click the drive you want to scan with check disk. Then select Properties. In the Properties window, just choose the Tools tab. Then click on the check button and select the scan drive option. Firstly, you can scan the external drive with the check disk. And if that doesn't resolve the issue, then scan the hard drive with check disk as well. Some users have confirmed that check disk scans for both external drives and PC hard drives can fix the issue, so we recommend you try it. Another useful solution is running a system file checker scan. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner, then writing CMD. Then right click the command prompt and run as administrator. But before you utilize the SFC tool, enter the following command in command prompt and press enter. Afterwards, just restart Windows if the DISM tool makes any changes. Then reopen the command prompt and input sfc slash scan now in the prompts window. Then press enter to initiate the sfc scan which might take 20 to 30 minutes. Restart Windows if the sfc scan informs you that it repaired files. And another great solution is reformatting the external drive. To do that you have to plug the drive into the laptop or desktop and then open File Explorer. Afterwards, right-click the external drive and select Format on the context menu. Make sure that the Quick Format checkbox is selected and then press the Start button in the window to reformat the drive. Users have also confirmed that they fixed this issue by reformatting the external drives they were trying to transfer files to. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.